So Vim actually doesn't really need multi-cursors because it has a couple of built-in features that are way more powerful. And I'm going to show you a couple of them. First of all, you can start by doing Control V to enter visual block mode. And then I'm going to use the curly brackets to jump to the end of this block. And you can see it selected all of these variables. Now I can just use capital I to add something before all of these lines. So for example, let's comment them all. So I'm just going to add this comment and then I'm going to escape. You can see it applied to all the lines. In the same way, I can go ahead and enter visual block mode again with control V and go to the end. And then I'm going to add a semicolon to all these lines. So I'm going to do shift A, capital A, and escape. It's going to apply to all the lines. So this is the first example of how to do like a single change on a lot of lines. Now let's go ahead and take a quick look at macros. So I have these two lines of console log and I want to add an additional argument for each one. So what I'm going to do is start recording a macro with Q. And so QR, I'm going to save this into the R register. And then you can see it says it's starting to record. And then I'm going to go ahead and first of all, press zero to make sure I'm starting from the beginning of this line. And then I'm going to press F closing bracket. And it's going to jump to the end of the arguments here. I'm just going to add an additional argument here. I'm going to finish off by going to the next line and pressing zero again. I'm going to start the recording with Q. And now I just supply this with the at sign and the name of the register R. And you can see it repeated it. So I'm going to finish off with showing a more complex example of macro usage. So what I'm going to do in this code is I'm going to change every call to console log to be with two arguments. And I'm going to do this using macros. So I'm going to again record to macro R with Q R. And then I'm going to go ahead and start by searching console. And it's going to bring me to the next line with console in it. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the F command to find the closing bracket. And I'm going to add an argument here. Then I'm going to finish off with escape. And I'm going to stop the recording of the macro of Q again. And then I can play this macro two times by running two and then at and R. And you can see it applied to all the lines with console log. So you can see that using these features actually gives you a lot more possibilities than just multi-cursor support. Don't forget to subscribe for more Vim videos. Thanks for watching.